All right, welcome back to action here at the House of Thrills. Lon Wilson, Mike Fiorello along with you. Sagertown down now. Two games to one of the Cocker to Cardinals. And I tell you, winning the D10 here, folks, it gets you some privileges. You lose, you get Ambridge in the first round, so yikes. Yeah, double hit by the Cardinals. Sagertown early, one nothing lead. A game they must have, Lon. That's it's all over. That's right, it's best of five, so Cochran and... Pressure's all on the Panthers in this game. And I have seen Sagertown earlier in the year come back down two to one to this very team. Oh, Maddox, quick over. Oh, two Cochran, and oh, what a save down wow. below. Awesome. Who was that, Vanderhoof? Yep. And they get the point for a left. That's right, Doug. Special Graham's calling a left, one, one. Wow. Now Wigton checking out, Custard checking in. The official rubbing of the shoes <laughs> continues up front there. And Dixon, wow, that's gonna be long, Herzberger. Ain't gonna get on top of that one, two to one, Panthers. And Sagertown, like I said, you even this one up, it's 2-2, guess what, 15. <laughs> That's right. That 15 points, I, every fifth game I've ever called, and that's out, it goes like lightning. Yeah. A 15 point game, I, for some reason. It goes very fast. Very and fast. And every mistake is. It's amplified. Exactly. So you gotta be able to forgive and forget when you're in that game five quickly. Wow, they're gonna call it neutral up top. Good job by the referees, all off the Nad Barkley. That's interesting you said about forgetting because Peyton Manning once said, you know, what makes a great quarterback, you don't have a memory. <laughs> That's exactly it. <laughs> That's God. That's uh, Jim McMahon from the uh, Bears. He doesn't have a memory anyway. <laughs> well, there we go, Maddox, quick over. Now Eisenhoof, he inserts his will. I am the king. Four to two. Puts it down now, four to two. And that might have been caused too on McMahon from Coach Dickey hitting him in the helmet all the time. Yeah. On the sideline. Four to two, Cardinals. Yeah, we got more. Uh, more do we have, do we have a leak in the roof here? Do we have to contact maintenance here at Crawford Central? What's going no, on? There's no leak in the roof. There's a very fine facility. Please, it's tax used, dollars. Uh, used for everything. Like. Please. You know, every don't we basketball have, don't we, playoffs. Don't we have stormwater management uh, to manage this uh, sort of situation? <laughs> A lot of quick block hit. again by the Cardinals. What a block up front. That's one thing that's changed this whole match. Lon, is since it's the second game on the defense. Cardinals. Yes, exactly. The Cardinals defense has been outstanding. They wanted to continue. Sigurdsson wants to penetrate it. Five to two Cardinals. Herzberger, good serve. Pavlik over his head. He's got to find Maddox finds and, it. And again, Maddox has got to have a 900 hitting percentage tonight. <laughs> he gets point after point when he's feed it to him. Hey, there he is. And he goes out, like you said. I, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not. Probably I, doesn't play in the back row. You're well. right. I'm not questioning because no. Coach Justin Johnson does a great job. Fabulous job. He's a great and, coach. And all they do is win. That's it. So. Exactly. And there we are, Eisenhuth. Well, that was a great wow. save. What a dig. We got an injury back there. Barkley's down. And they're playing, and it goes on. I think should he should blow the whistle. I think he hit his elbow flush oh, on the I, floor. Know, the referee's I, trying I, to get I, attention I, I in the back. I can't believe they didn't blow the whistle on that. Not a, could, have, could have had two kids hurt. Well, the referee was uh, wave, trying to wave so it down in the back. That, it, is there something you might see change line? Those line people maybe should have whistles in the future. Yeah, yeah. He was trying to get the attention of the line yep. judge. Let's take a quick break here. It's 6-3 right now. Sagertown with the lead. Correction, Cochran with the lead over Sagertown. Lon, we got a big injury right there. That's right. Uh, Alex Barkley checking out. Hopefully he's okay. Again, sports medicine right on the job. We want to uh, talk about sports medicine. What a great job they do in this area. They're fantastic. Our good friend Dan Craven, a part of that. Yeah, Dan uh, is part of that. That's right. And my wife just uh, rehabbed up there a few months yeah. ago. Dan does a good job. And, of course, our other good friend, Dwayne. Dwayne Kohler. Yep, you know. Probably the tallest that. man to come out of Warren County. And, you know, we, we kid a lot, but Dwayne has the most shows on Armstrong. That's right. Dwayne Kohler, he's like the juggernaut. He's like the, uh, I don't know, he, he's the cornerstone of uh, local programming he here. Is. And we're going to get back to action here with the injury timeout now. 
Cochran with the lead. They're up two games to one, and Alex Barkley, he's been tough, and I just saw his brother looking over at him. And like I said, hopefully uh, he's going to be okay. The ice packs are coming out, so hopefully that's all it is is an ice pack. And You know, looking at his roster, as you said, too, where a lot of these Sacred Town Panthers will be back next year. Oh, I know. That's, Man, that's scary, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it's... Yeah, they are going to be a force to be reckoned oh. with. And, you know, we see, you know, Cochran always rotates a team in and out. Yeah. And guess what? They always bring back a good team. So always great coaching and good group of kids out there that always are competitors. Just like John Swick and I, if you don't have the talent, Hustle can make up for a lot of it. No doubt about it. And uh, even the younger teams we've seen come through some of the county league schools, you know, before they get to their junior, senior year, let me tell you, they're hustling the sophomores. And here we are, Connor Stout. Good serve. Better dig in the back. That's going to be pad. Oh, my goodness. Play. Wow, what a save right there. It was a Connor Stout in the yep. backcourt again. What a save. Oh, my goodness. Nick Dixon. How did oh. he stop that? That's going to go out of bounds. Sagertown. You know you how he stopped it long as back what you said exactly. earlier. Quick hands. Quick hands. I couldn't believe Quick that. Quick hands. Seven to four. Cockerton. Sagertown, much needed point. Oh, right that on. was huge. That was huge for uh, Sagertown to get that point. Sagertown crowd uh, rather quiet, bucking up front. Nick Dixon, quick floater over top. Yeah, that was a bad hit by Dixon right there. Seven to five. Well, and he knew as soon as he hit yeah. it, he was trying to see. Maybe they didn't see it. Here we are, Dixon cross court. Vanderhoof tries to get it down. A Patton, quick tip back by Eisenhuth for Cochran. A good job. From the backboard. Oh, that's going to be out. Vanderhoof. Seven to six. Thought he saw a spot. You know what we're seeing up front is a Herzberger who has a cannon. We haven't seen him work in the front. Uh, no, we haven't. And the set, front Panthers court. are making this run without one of their stars. That's it. That, yeah, that's, yeah. That's it. Oh, that's Eisenhoof. It. That's, that's a take charge kind of kill right there. There it is. Eight to six. Here goes Nate Wigton to the back right now. His brother, a good basketball player, got to catch them. Yep. Getting some minutes on varsity. Uh, him and his uh, cousin mm -hmm. from the Baker family as well. They wear headbands. It's, a, it's a, quite the stylish thing with the uh, younger. Oh, Ooh. look at that kill. Ooh. Barkley, that's the most emotion he's shown tonight. Yeah, he probably wants to play a little bit for his brother right now, too. Yeah. Eight to seven. That's one thing a competitor does not want to stop playing. That's right. You know, you, you know, there's always and the kids who will sit there and wait through a rainstorm saying it's going to stop, it's going to stop. Those are the kids that don't like to lose. Right. If you like to lose, you don't win. Nice job by Segerton. Cochran gets it over <laughs> somehow, but too many hits. It's too many hits, up. that's right. It's like a pinball machine back there. Yeah, Barkley's a throwback. He's one of these kids, if I don't do well, don't give me a medal. Just yeah, exactly. Yeah, up, you know, he, he's definitely. Um, I don't want a medal just for showing up. Right, you can see there's definitely a lot of uh, control there. Yep. A lot of discipline. Eight eight. Segerton trying to hold on. Yeah, Vanderhoof into the back. Oh, good try. Wow, that might have been a souvenir up here in the uh, booth. <laughs> Look at that hustle, though. These Very kids don't hustle. get paid, you know? They're not no, a million they dollar contracts either. That's right. It's nine to eight. Good job by Meadville hosting this event here tonight. That's going to be out? Yep. Yes. Nine, nine. Barkley, you see, he pulled back the wing. If he'd have been wearing an oven mitt, that might have been a hit. <laughs> Sagerton's hanging on here. This is amazing. Now we've seen this before. I've seen this before. No, but we without the one, teams. without the one Barkley kid. Yeah. And this is a game really. Cochran didn't lose this without Barkley playing. Momentum shift big time to Sagerton. So number 16, Lucas Smith, sophomore in there. Yeah. Sophomore off the bench. Okay, Lucas, go out there and do it for us. That's right. Give me an outside Don't hitter. D10 championship game. That's right. Give me an OH now. 
Dixon cross court. Herzberger. 11 10 Panthers. 10 9 Panthers, excuse me. <laughs> wow. There we are, back in business. Sagertown hanging up the shingle, 10 9. We're seeing some great volleyball action. The Dixon. Herzberger. Yep, they're going to call hands. There's the Herzberger we've been talking about. Here we've been asking for him up front. We yep. got him. 10 10. Sorry, Buckham going to take a seat. Vanderhoof with the serve. Now you're going to see uh, more of Herzberger up front. Like I said, one of the fastest kills we'll see in D10. Patton off the net. Nothing doing. I'll go play some interesting uh, cheers when they get a point. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Hands and stuff. Quite different than other sports. It is. It's kind of a uh, culture unto itself. Yeah. 11 10. Oh, nice Barclay. serve. Nice serve. He hit, just took enough off. Second time was backing up and he dropped it in front. It was, that was and like an off speed pitch. Exactly what that was. It took a nose dive. Here we go. 12 10. Herzberger. Again, right to the middle. Barkley, no problem there. Maddox. Eisenhoof. Quick punch over by Dixon. Yeah, that was a save by Dixon. Oh, that wow. That pass was tough. Dixon, no way he could set that pass. He just knocked it over. It's like redirecting a shot yep. in hockey. Well, he put been, the knuckle up. He's been big as far as they're set it tonight. He's been big. And Barkley up front. Back to Good Maddox. Block. Good job by Pavlik. Dig that one off the net. Nice now Patton. Vanderhoof. Yep, oh, slap on the net. net. Yep. Nice tip there by Sagertown to get that point. What happened? Jump. Yeah, they're, they're going to call it a neutral jump. point. Yeah. Wow. No replay in volleyball. Huh? That's like right. We've got a lot, of, a lot of fans of Fonzie yeah. around here, or it's a neutral play. Yeah. <laughs> 13 to 10 Cocker. That's right. The Fonz. You got the thumbs and the arms up in the air, almost like a Pentecostal service, but we're back to action. 13 10. Oh, and 11. off the. Sagertown says there's no thumbs up on that one. Well, Fonz out there selling reverse mortgages now. That's right. <laughs> Henry Winkler. Maybe uh, if you look into a reverse mortgage. Nah. They're not right for everybody. No. <laughs> 13 11. Town's in a tough spot. You can see mentally, too. They're just like, see if we can get through this. They're going to get another point here, I think. Yes, it whipped are. in now. Yes, Can't are. do it. 13 to 12. The Panthers are hanging around. <laughs> Coming back. With one of their players, Stars, out. Here we go. Patton with the serve for the Sagertown Panthers. Into the backboard. Eisenhuth, good job there. Stout! I tell you, I'm going to break a vocal cord saying that name. <laughs> Stout. It's got a hard consonant in it. We like it. Been a few stouts that have come through Cochran in, in their day. That's right, Connor. Like I said, Connor Stout. I've called some games. 14 to last 12. Last couple years, that young man, and this is seriously the best game I've seen him play to date. 15 to 12, Cardinals. I, no, 14, 13. Tip. We're gonna okay. call hands. I didn't see. Yeah. I don't want to go to the replay. Yeah, no replay in volleyball. We're gonna have to let the uh, the boys in the booth uh, work this one out. Wait, we are the boys in the booth. And they're not throwing a flag to see the replay. So 14-13 right now. Oh, off oh, the net. Yikes. Yeah. Smith yeah. checking Tough in. Tough one there. Not exactly what you wanted to do right now. 15-13. Cardinals. Yeah, hey. Herzberger. Oh, knuckleball. Right down below. Maddox. They're going to have to hustle get that one over, and they will. Herzberger comes up. Dixon. Stout. Oh. Herzberg, I'm sorry, that was custard. You know, your eyes get so wide, and so many, sometimes on those you actually miss it because <laughs> it's, it's like they say in Long Island, that was like a big piece of pizza. That's it. Right there. 16 13 Cardinals. P pizza, how do you say that? Uh, pizza. <laughs> pizza. Nah, see, you're, you're throwing your Northwest PA back in there. I yeah. heard you say Long Island. So, oh, Maddox. Nice. Pizza. 
16-14. Sagertown will not leave. Cochran is saying, come on, one of your best players is injured. Right, He's up. Sagertown says, nope. 14-16. Eisenhuth. Now they're going to call some uh, net violations there. Hopefully, won't have the authorities involved. 16 15. So, Sagertown right back into it again. Right back in it. We've got some action here with Alex Custard. He's walking. Hopefully, some good news there. He's walking back to the bench. Looks like he's going to be okay. There's his brother, Brandon Cut or Brendan uh, Out. Barkley. I'm sorry. I said Alex uh, Custard. It's Alex Barkley. Number five, the injured player coming back to the bench. Well, right now. He talked to the coach and now he's sitting down 17-15. And Connor Stout. Big serve out! Yes, it was. Ouch! Yep. Schenberg says, give me an ice pack. 18-15. That was a fastball plus. <laughs> it was. 15-18. Good job, Barkley, to get that up. Pavla quickly to the back court. Good job, Dixon set for Vanderhoof. Schenberg nice kept save. that one alive along with Patton. Good job. Set opportunity. Dixon, where is he going? Eisenhuth cross court. Pavlik, Barkley off the hand of Pavlik. <laughs> and booyah. 19-15, Cardinal. That was an outstanding block by Coffin. Wow. 19-15. Segretown, timeout. Yeah, we're going to take a quick timeout ourselves. 19-15. Cochran just six points away from taking the D-10. We'll be right back. And we're back here. 19-15 Cochran, and they lead two sets to one. It's, oh, net ball. So point goes to Segretown. 19-16. And right now, Sagertown, move your foot. They got to pull it together, and we're on some more cords here. <laughs> Again, you think with all the sophistication of satellites, and Sagertown's going to steal another point. 1917, inching back in this one. They need it. I tried standing early, and I was getting chastised vehemently by our producer. Oh, block up front by nice Barkley. block by Barkley. What a big time block at a big moment. <laughs> wow. 19-18, Sagatown again refuses to quit. Trying to, and a note to our uh, game Great. manager, Z, the bathrooms are locked here on the second yeah, floor, so yeah. thank you very much for that. Not a <laughs> block by Sagatown. Look at this, 19 up. Oh, Pat McCurdy. Coming up huge. Wow. All 19, of a sudden, Cochran looks a little dazed. They taking a punch in. Cochran calls a timeout. All tied up in the fourth game. Cochran and Segertown looking to get the edge. We're going to be right back. Hang in there. We're back. 19-19. Here we go. Dixon runs after it. Uh, point Cochraton, almost a block by the Panthers, 2019 Cardinals. The game second time needs to win us. Cochran will put it away. Wickton serving for the Cardinals. Miss. Miss hit right there by Barkley. 21-19 Cardinals. Barkley didn't miss hit that one. He pounded that kill. 21-20. Cochran, Segretown with the serve. And Barkley will be serving. And off the bench is Alexander Barkley comes in from his injury. So the return of the Barkley, he was hurt. Segretown fans give him a cheer. Good serve right there. Barkley's return line. Both Barkleys are in, but that one was... Hit out of bounds, 22-20 Cockerton. Both Barclays are back in it here for Sagertown. I tell you, that shrug him one off. He hit a 
Yeah, it is. That's a hard shot. Yeah, hard shot to the elbow. Now Cochran and Eisenhuth. And that save's not going to help. 23 20. Cochran can taste the District 10 championship. Cardinal's student body is going crazy. Town of Cochran will be closed tonight. That's right. It'll be a parade right through town. Oh, into the net it yeah. goes. One point away. They can taste it. Let's remind everybody, we'll interview their winning coach and a couple of players. And here we are, Eisenhuth back for service. It is 24-20. Alex Barkley will take a seat. Smith back into the game for Sagertown. And here we go, Eisenhuth lets it fly into the middle. Pavlik up with it, quick over by Cardi. Set opportunity, Boom. Vanderhoof off the hands, and that does it, Cochran, and takes the D-10. And madness ensues here in Medville, Pennsylvania, as the Cochran and Cardinals take the D-10 over Sagertown. Three games to one, and how about that, Mike? Three in a row. They lost the first match and came back and won three in a row against Sagertown. Happiness in Sagertown, a little disappointment in, I mean, happiness in Cochrane, a little yes. disappointment in Sagertown. Nothing to be ashamed of. This young team from Sagertown has been absolutely phenomenal. Cochrane, resilient. And there we are. Let's see. Mike, uh, we're going to go down to the floor for some coaches' interviews. Hang in there. And down on the floor with the winning coach, Brad Cusset of the Cardinals and first coach. Congratulations and great victory tonight. Great victory. Uh, you know, even after losing that first set, we never let down. Uh, we had no low points of that game. We pushed to the end, and um, we, were, we were playing good volleyball the whole way through. Looked like in the second match through the fourth match, your defense really picked up. Yeah, oh, deep, defense is a big part. It brings the momentum of the game up, and when we can pass the ball, that means we could run a quicker offense, and uh, that's exactly what we did. We played Cochran in defense, and that pulled us through. You know, Coach, uh, to my left is two of you outstanding players throughout the year, but tonight they had a great game. I thought your setter, Nick Dixon, did an outstanding job with some of his back sets and also his field of vision where he took it upon himself to dip it in there on his own way. And then, Logan, man, you just had some great kills, so I'm going to talk to these guys. Go for it. Guys, congratulations. Right, thank you. Thank you. Nicholas, you had an outstanding night tonight setting the ball. You had great vision. Uh, did that come easy for you? Um, I've had a lot of experience so far. Um, it's just kind of like knowing the block is on the air side, knowing what hitters are hot. and I mean, the guys are putting the ball away for me. I'm just giving it to them. What was it like setting to this young man tonight? Uh, it's good to have somebody that puts it away consistently. I mean, I can go to him in crunch time whenever I need to, beginning of the game. You know, Logan, it looked like during the first match, you guys were like trying to feel your way, but in the middle of the second match, it looked like you really came on with a lot of poise and confidence. Yeah, after that first match, we knew that we had that first game. We just let down a little bit at the end. We came out with more intensity the second game, and we put it away. Oh, well, guys, congratulations to winning D10, and good luck the rest of the way. Thank right, you. Thank you. And uh, back to Lon for the wrap-up. All right, thanks a lot, Mike. It's been great working with you again. Mike Fiorello, one of the finest play-by-play -play guys you will find in, in high school sports here in Meadville. But thank you to the coaches from Cochran and N. Sagertown for bringing out uh, a, a two good teams. And we had a great time tonight, and uh, we'll see more uh, action from that young Sagertown team. The Cochran advances, though. Big win here tonight in Meadville. Three games to one. They won the D10. Lon Wilson, Mike Fiorella. Have a great evening, folks. Take care.